Okay, I am very excited about what I'm about to show you. So I've been meaning to play around with Claude Code and I've been meaning to play around with it because as you know, I, I speak a lot about the capture and retrieval side of things. The two main pillars of a good knowledge management system is easy capture and easy retrieval. So if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that we have a good structure going. We know where to find notes when we need it because we have the structure. We've built it. We put in the work to have a coherent structure that we understand. But now we have these tools that make capturing within the structure that we've built so easy. And I'm going to show you just a couple of use cases that I've been playing around literally for the last 24 hours. Didn't get much sleep in because stuff like this just gets my juices flowing. Okay, so quick side note, I'm gauging interest in a hands-on workshop on this. Claude Desktop with Obsidian. Walking through the entire setup and the exact workflows to simplify your capture and retrieval process. Spots will be limited because I want to keep it small and interactive. So if you're curious, the link is in the description. No commitment, just seeing who would be interested. You have Obsidian open on the left-hand side, and this is just my daily note. So it's the 6th of January. Happy New Year's, by the way. And, and on the right-hand side, we have Claude Code. So don't stress about how it looks. Don't stress about the complexity yet. It's not that complicated. In future videos, I'll be walking you through exactly how to set it up. It is extremely easy. So I'm just going to show you how it simplifies the capturing process. Okay, so we have Obsidian on the left, we have Claude Terminal on the right. And think of this as an assistant that has access to your Obsidian folder. Like it can do stuff in your Obsidian folder. It can add, remove, change, modify, and you don't need to code because it does the coding for you. You just have to speak and it does it almost perfectly. I am surprised how simple this is. Okay, so this morning I went to the gym and I want to log that I went to the gym at 7 a.m. I trained legs and I went for a sauna. Okay, so normally I would have to put it in and we found ways to make it easier for ourselves using some community plugins, which you're like, okay, uh, I went to the gym so I can put this in, but then I need to fill in, okay, legs at train more, yada, yada, yada. And then I need to go to another line or a line above it if I want to have the, the time. And then I need to go down and I need to indent it. Okay, so that took a couple of seconds, but if you do this a lot throughout the day, then it gets a little bit tedious. So why don't we simplify it for ourselves? So I use Whisperflow, which is just a voice to text uh, application that just records what you say and it just transcribes it wherever you are on your computer. So this runs outside of Obsidian. So I'm gonna just speak into this terminal and it's just going to write down what I say. Okay, so here we go. On my daily note, log that I went to gym at 7 a.m. this morning using uh, the similar gym log that I have for previous days. Make sure that it indicates that I trained legs. And then do another timestamp at 8 a.m. that said I went to the sauna with the same logging for sauna related logs. Okay, so yeah, I have. On my daily note, do everything I just said is pasted into Claude. So I'm just gonna press enter. And this knows that it's operating in my Obsidian folder. So it's stewing. And every time it creates a different, um, what do you call it? A different word for thinking. And it's very cute. So you can see it's thinking. It's going to the right notes. And there we have it. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay, so it doesn't just stop there. We have that where we didn't type anything and it knew with context of previous days that it needs to go for this in. Okay, so now I'm learning Claude code and I want to have a log 
where I want to go to a work session that I'm going to write stuff down as I'm learning through things. So insert a log that shows that I'm working on project learning Claude and in a sub bullet point, insert a new working session, create that working session and fill in the necessary metadata and use the work session templates and link it to the log, obviously. Okay, so now I'm just going to press enter and we're going to see what happens. So sometimes it's going to say, hey, I found a couple of notes that fits your description. Which one do you want to use? And you can choose, okay, I want this project to be mentioned or I want this project to be mentioned or this note, or if I have multiple templates with the same thing, it's going to ask me which template I want to use. Okay, log self-development coding. And it knew that I'm setting up learning and setting up Claude code, and then it created this new work session. So now if I open up this work session, everything is filled in already. Okay, so let's say in the this note, I want to add that I, added a new note. So I added this Claude note earlier and I want to reference it in this work session. On the newly created work session, in a bullet point, add the Claude note that we created earlier and give a short description of why we added it. And it's just me typing. It's, it's not even typing. I'm just speaking into it. I feel like a coding god with no coding. So this simplifies the capturing process down to zero. We have the structure and now we just use these tools to fit into that structure. And yes, it takes a little bit of time, but the hit rate of this system is 99%. I, I, am, I am so surprised at how good it is at understanding what I mean. And we have the notes. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is, it doesn't just stop there. So let's say I uh, ran into a friend and I want to mention that uh, I have an idea for this friend, like let's say a gift idea. So I want to quickly list a gift idea for one of my friends. On my daily note, I want to log a gift idea for a person in my vault that is called Lucas Engineer. So I want to be in a log format with the hashtag gift dash idea. And the idea is to buy his mama house. And let's just see what happens. So I haven't given this command yet. So I'm hoping it's going to somehow understand what I want. Yes, it's on my daily notes. So it wants to execute some actualize, actualizing, some pondering. So we'll see what it does. But I, you can probably tell how excited I am for this. Um, yes, I want to proceed. So gift idea. And it went and found that specific person. So let's say we have we have two files that's similar. It will prompt you to ask which file are you referring to to link the correct one. And I want a gift icon there, so I'm just gonna add that as well. Add a gift icon to that log at the beginning. Okay, so for logs, this has completely simplified everything because it's context aware. It knows the notes within your system and to actually create the notes and link it up properly, like we did for this project learning and setting up Claude code. It's, it's making everything so simple because you don't even have to click to create it. You don't even need to select a template. You don't need to go full in the up because it's context aware. <laughs> the next example is if we go look at the properties at the top of our daily notes, there's a couple of things that we might want to fill in. So typically, normally, you would have to go at the end of your day, 
sleep hours, sleep rating, healthy eating rating, log day rating, log energy rating, food, tags, summary. But I am lazy. That's why I started using Obsidian a couple of years ago, because I'm the most lazy person you'll ever meet. So I want to make it easy on myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell Claude to go fill it in. On my daily notes, fill in the front end matter. I slept for eight and a half hours, so put down 8.5. My log sleep rating was two. Log healthy eating is 1.5. Log day rating is a one. Log energy rating is a two. For food, fill in lasagna, chocolate chip cookies, potatoes. Tags, put in a tag. Claude code, meaning Claude dash code, Obsidian sauna. And for summary, the day I figured out how to use Claude code in Obsidian and it's making my life amazing. So the hit rate is not always going to be 100%, but like I said, it is extremely close to being 100%. And what is cool is, let's just say proceed. What is cool is you can create a file that stipulates how it should work. Okay, so log sleep hours, sleep rating, everything is filled in perfectly. And yeah, I'm just happy with life, man. I'm just happy with life. We figured out the capturing hurdle. We have the structure and now we figured out the filling in of that structure. Life is good. Life is good. Okay, so in the upcoming videos, I'm going to be talking a lot about this and I'm going to be spending a lot of time on this, which I'll probably be doing some workshops for people who are interested, for people who are as excited as me um, on, on this subject. So let me know if you guys are keen on more of these type of workflows because I think this is a complete game changer. Uh, this is not just for capturing, by the way. I can see um, the retrieval process, basically asking information about your notes is also going to be simplified a lot. So I just finished my year in review for 2025 and I'll link uh, an article in the description if you haven't done so yet, I highly recommend you to do a yearly review. But I got interested in my best and worst days. So I've kept a journal quite religiously for the last year, filling in the three main things, which is images, log day rating, and a summary. Based off those four inputs, images, log day rating, summary, and tags about the day, I asked Claude to give me some insights and <laughs> because our notes are so well structured we we have bought into the daily notes first system we've bought into the project methodology of how to tie things up how to relate things how to tie things to areas for instance that we have the structure and these AI tools it's just assisting in those structure. I don't think you can go the other way around. I don't think you can just jump in to a tool like this and just start using it in your knowledge management system without you having a very rigid structure. And we have that rigid structure. The last four years of my life, I've been dedicated to building a structure that makes sense. Using these tools on top of that, Oh my God, it is, it feels, it feels like the best fever dream ever. It feels like I'm going to be pinched and I'm going to be woken up where somebody's going to say, Hey, actually, uh, we still live in the 1900s and this, this type of technology does not exist yet. And I don't know what I would do.